In this tutorial, I will show you how you as a user in Empower version 9.2 can easily use update links to keep the content up to date and thus effectively create presentations. With the help of update links, you can keep shapes and slides as well as entire presentations up to date. Basically, there are four actions that can initiate an update and be performed by your admin. Content adjustments to an element, for example, updating the text on a slide, deleting an element, adding an element, for example, inserting an additional slide into a presentation, and making changes to a master template. So how to create an update link? When you copy a slide in the library and then paste it elsewhere in the library, an update link is automatically created between the root element and the linked element pasted elsewhere. It is important to note that you must have appropriate folder permissions so that you can create an update link. So if you're working with the content from the library, for example by inserting slides into a presentation, you are already using update links because the library content is linked with the presentations that you create out of this content. When a presentation or a slide is updated by your admin and an update is distributed, you have several options to deal with it. I show you here in the example what a distributed update looks like. To do this, I first open the library via the library button in the start group in the Empower ribbon and navigate to my user library which contains a slide with an available update. This red update notification indicates that the slide has received an update. When the slide is opened, the update wizard opens and notifies you that there is an update and asks you how you want to deal with it. Depending on the settings of your update notification, the update wizard opens automatically to present you with the different versions of the updated element and different options for dealing with the update. There are also other ways to notify when an update is available. This notification can be made in the form of a notification bar or a modified icon in the Empower ribbon. The global display of update notifications can also be deactivated for you in individual cases, so that no notifications are displayed. However, this should only be done temporarily, if, for example, you don't want to receive a message during a presentation to a customer. You can deactivate the update notification in the Empower ribbon in the Start group by clicking at the arrow right under the Library button, which opens the drop-down menu and then navigating to Updates, where you can select the option No Update Notification. Now back to the update wizard. The update wizard also displays the different versions of the element with the corresponding dates and timestamps. With the outdated version on the left and the updated version on the right. Each update can be done individually or in bulk. By clicking on the magnifying glass icon, you can open another window where you can view both slides side by side to view the changes to the slides. By clicking on the toggle button, show differences between versions, the differences are highlighted for a better overview. If you want the changes to be applied, you can select the option Update slide in this presentation and in library. After clicking on the apply button, all connected elements are set to the status of the root element. This action also updates the copy of the root element within the library. Local copies will also receive an update if the presentation was created with content from the library. Alternatively, you can decide that you do not accept the update and you want to continue working with the previous version of the element. However, this only makes sense in individual cases, for example, when certain levels of information must be archived unchanged. To do this, activate the option Keep this version and disconnect in library. The update link will be disconnected in the library and you will no longer receive update notifications when changes have been made to the root element. If an element other than a folder has been deleted by your admin and the admin has distributed a deleted update, the update wizard will also appear and display various options. 
In the case of a deleted update, the update wizard notifies users that the presentation contains deleted elements when the deleted element is opened in a presentation. On the left hand side, you will be shown the element open in your presentation that has been deleted from the library. If you want to keep the element in its current form, select Keep this version, no more updates on the left hand side and then click Apply. If you want to remove the element, select Delete slide on the right and then click Apply. It is important that you have the rights to carry out these actions. As with the procedures described above, you can decide on both single and multiple elements at the same time. Feel free to test the function yourself and save valuable time. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.